Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shadow Archery, Anthony here, and today we're going to be uh, unboxing and taking a, my first look at uh, the new uh, Legend Archery XT320 uh, quiver. Uh, this is your standard quiver, this is not the field quiver. They do make a field quiver though. But uh, we're going to be getting into uh, opening this up, seeing what's inside, seeing uh, you know the pockets available, and uh, you know just the overall quality of uh, this product here. I'll have links to Legend Archery so you can get pricing and find out where you can uh, purchase one from if you're interested. Uh, so uh, let's get started. First off, just gonna open that up, slide it out of its nice little plastic bag. And right away, look at that. We got a nice uh, quiver here. Nice bright yellow, too. Uh, they offer a whole bunch of colors on this, uh, such as like green, purple, orange, red. Uh, I believe there's a white as well. Uh, you can see them on their website. But uh, let's get into uh, some of the pockets and such. We got a nice little pocket up in front here. All right. You can fit your two fingers inside. You can go and or you can go and probably put some knocks and things in there. Uh, you know, real quick and easy access to that. Maybe even a small pencil if you want to, if you uh, like to use like maybe one of those like golf pencils or something like that. This next pocket is much larger and you could definitely fit uh, your finger tab in here, your finger sling, uh, probably I would say at least two finger tabs and some, uh, you know, additional items on top of that. Uh, it, may be slightly small for an arm guard, but then again, we do have a much larger pocket down here. But on the front of this large pocket, ah, there's a there's a nice space in here. Uh, you can go and slide in, say, your, uh, your T-square, your bow square, or you can hang off uh, some pens and things if you use, if you like to use pens to mark your target and, you know, write down your score, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. Uh, there is also an actual T-square spot up top here, so that's probably an even better position. You could actually slide it right into uh, that rubber hole and it'll slide down. But who knows, maybe you need, maybe you need two bow squares for some reason. <laughs> uh, then you, you, have, you have two options there, but obviously this, this top one's going to be a lot better for uh, your bow square. Uh, continuing on, we have this really nice long pocket here. And uh, inside is, ha, <laughs> inside is our belt that comes with uh, this quiver. So no need to go out and buy a, uh, a belt to put this quiver around your waist. So very cool. Uh, tons of space in there. Uh, you could definitely store your arm guard in there without a problem. And any additional items, you could, you could definitely store some snacks in there, which is a favorite of mine. <laughs> also, if you're somebody that doesn't want to go and put maybe their finger tab into the pouch, uh, you have a clip here. You can go clip uh, or hang your finger tab off the clip, or maybe you want to hang your uh, arrow puller or, or, or you know, other things of, of that nature. I know a lot of people like to have like their archery, like good luck charms and things like that. Uh, you can hang them off of uh, off the clip here, or you can go and loop them around this nice metal loop here. That way you can you know be sure they won't slide off at all. Uh, other than that, uh, this quiver is made out of a, a pretty nice uh, material. It's going to have some. Uh, I feel like it's going to have some water resistance to it. Overall, the stitching also looks uh, really good. Uh, it's nicely stitched. No really nasty seams or anything like that. Another nice thing about this quiver too that I noticed is uh, the zipper tabs here. So normally you just have a little metal zipper like, you know, on, on like a pair of pants or something like that. It, it just has the little zipper uh, tab to it to unzip. Uh, these have a nice uh, rubber one. Uh, it, it's, it's plenty long enough. You can get a good grip on it and just unzip uh, your pocket. You don't have to try to like fiddle around with it. I know I run into that with my own uh, personal quiver, so I really appreciate uh, the thought of, you know, making it easier to unzip uh, your pockets on your quiver, because it is something you don't want to fight with. It's, it's, it's silly. And they unzip really nice, too, so, you know, some good quality zippers there as well. Also, moving even further down this quiver, 
I just realized. Uh, there's another ring all the way down here. So again, you can hang uh, more things off your quiver. Uh, if we look at the bottom here, we actually have two holes and that'll let any water like drain out of there so stuff's not sitting in your quiver. Because if you don't have a drain, it could, get, it could get real nasty in there if you, uh, you know, forget to make sure, you know, to dump out all the, all the water. Because you'd be surprised if, if, your, if your quiver doesn't drain, even if it's, you know, water resistant or whatever, they're still going to, the water's going to go through the holes of your aero tubes. And then it's just going to pool in there and it, it gets real nasty. So that's really good that they added those in. That means most of the water, if not all the water, should come out. And whatever's left will just dry on its own real easy. You don't have to worry about it it's smelling or or whatever, you know, sometimes it gets pretty nasty. Uh, back to the aero tubes, uh, they're very nice. They actually, you can actually slide them all the way out if you wanted to. Uh, there's no need though. You get three and that is going to, uh, it's going to fit a lot of arrows real easily. Of course, these are X10s, so, you know, they're a little bit smaller, but uh, there's six arrows there without an issue. You could easily do a dozen. Uh, you could probably push it to doing two dozen, even though that, that would be kind of pushing the limit. I don't know, they, they fit pretty nice, even with six in one hole. Uh, then again, these are smaller arrows, so I would say you could fit a dozen aluminum arrows pretty comfortably. If you're going to shoot some uh, small diameter arrows like an X10, you could you could definitely push it to like two dozen. Uh, but really nice. Uh, it's a good height. It's not, uh, it's not too high where you're going to have to spend a ton of time pulling your, your arrows out. And at the same point in time, it's not too low where you feel like they're just gonna like fall out on you. So uh, uh, very nice to see. Okay, so we have our belt on our quiver, uh, and we're gonna go and uh, try it on, see how it fits. Uh, the belt itself is uh, real nice, uh, nice and nice and sturdy. It's got a nice, mm, strong click to it. Uh, feels pretty secure. So that's, that's nice. I threw on the uh, Legend Archery release pouch too. Even if you don't shoot compound, it's nice to have like this additional pocket there just so that you can, you know, throw your water bottle or whatever into it. So let's try this on, see how it fits. I made a slight adjustment from it, from its like stock position. Of course, it's got a lot of adjustability and look at that, fits pretty good. Still nice and easy to get to all the pockets. Go through all of those. Very cool. And we're gonna go and throw our arrows back in there. It'll be good to shoot. Look at that. All right. So you can pick up the Legend Archery uh, X320 at uh, legendarchery.com. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. I look forward to. Uh, testing this quiver out more and seeing uh, you know how it works for me and there'll be a full review on it in the future so far my impression on it is that it is a good value uh, for the cost uh, you get a lot of pockets um, it seems very well made uh, of course I'm gonna be testing all of this and seeing how it uh, you know how it pans out how it works out uh, in you know the real archery world of shooting tournaments and things like that. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, happy shooting.